There were years where we didn't get any new Piston Cup team members from the first Cars movie, and let's all be honest guys, those are some of my favorite diecasts to collect. I don't know what it is about the Piston Cup, maybe it's all the cool colors, the cool sponsors, but I love everything to do with it, especially the crew chiefs, you know, the pities, the haulers, the semi-cabs, all that good stuff. And there was like a whole five years where Mattel didn't release any new members whatsoever, not even many re-releases until this year. I mean, just last fall, we got Megan Shifter, a fiber fuel pity, and just last month, we got a taco mint pity, Bryn Imager, and there's a lot more to come, including a fiber fuel crew chief, and maybe even a taco mint crew chief, but right now, we're gonna celebrate with this transberry juice pity, fresh off the factory line called Mike Stock Car. So to give you a little background on him, he's from Case P, which I just unboxed a couple days ago. If you missed it or just wanna watch it again, the link is in the description below or the card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner. It's a pretty good case and there's two more cars I will be reviewing from it and you get to vote which one you want me to review next. So of course we have Metallic Sally right here. Pretty cool. And since I got so many requests to do him, Barry De Petal, the Thailand variant, and it is actually pretty different from the Chinese version, so I figured why not give it a little review? This one has a bad card anyway, so why not review him? Since so many people asked me to, I have no problem with that at all. But anyways, let's get on with the review here of Mike. So of course, he's in the Dynaco 400 series, which is a Cars 1 theme, you know, the 400 lap motor speedway of the South race. We do have some choking warnings here because of the accessories that he comes with. On the back here, we can see a nice shot of the race, the motor speedway of the South from Cars 1. And there is Lee Revkins, the Transberry Juice Racer in the corner himself. And he was released a little earlier this year as well. After the Dynaco 400, a tiebreaker race is needed to determine the winner of the Piston Cup. And we can also see Marlon Clutch's McKay, Dave Alternators, or as they mislabeled him, TG Castlenut, Greg Candyman, and of course, Lee Revkins. So I'll be right back with Mikey all opened up. So here he is out of the package and he looks great. A little familiar too actually. Hmm. And we'll get into that a little later on in the video, but first his appearance in Cars 1. Oh, that's right. He didn't appear at all. Yeah. Mike here did not appear in Cars nor any of the Cars movies. So essentially a little story here. Pixar cheaped out with the pit row in the Motor Speedway of the South. As you can see there, they only show about half of the pit crews. So what happened to the other half? Did Thanos like snap them away or something? But seriously, it just seems like Pixar thought nobody would notice that they would just cut out half the teams because that would be a ton of work animating all those different sponsors and all that stuff. So unfortunately, Transberry Juice was one of the victims of that, but we can obviously assume that he does have pities. He does have a team, otherwise he wouldn't be out there racing. So Mike does for sure exist in the Cars universe, but he hasn't made his debut appearance. Let's just keep it at that. So yeah, unfortunately, it's just how it is. Same thing with the other pities that I showed you earlier on in the video. Ever since, you know, actually, you know, pretty much all the pities they released before Megan, they all actually did appear. So they're just kind of starting to get into the other side, which makes sense, you know, since Endgame, you know, spoilers, Tony Stark snapped everybody back. That was a lame reference, I know. But anyway, he's getting into a Mike stock car here. He is from Thailand, of course. So everybody, you know, has their gripes about the eyes and everything. But I think this one actually looks pretty good. Pretty solid here. I like the gloss finish. The window looks a little grainy right there. It looks like it's a little shattered, but that's okay. His hat here is a plastic piece while all the purple is metal. 
I like the Transberry Juice logo, even though it is a little grainy, a little bit, a little bit grainy. I like the rims being purple, those are pretty cool. Of course, the forklift doesn't move up and down, as it always has been. On the base here, you have the rivet, no date stamp, because that's kind of what they do for pities. They don't really put them on there since there's like no room. At least for Brent and Majer, that's what they did. And for actually for Megan Shifter, they put one on, but for Brynn here, they didn't. And there is Megan L35A. So yeah, pretty cool. That's pretty much it for Mike. I did say it looked familiar because the Trunk Fresh Pity, who was released in 2009, has pretty much the same expression here. You can see how the eyes kind of curve that way and the bottom a little bit. It's pretty much the same thing. This is a little bit higher, but you can see it's kind of the same shape right there. So that's a little interesting. It even looks like the artwork is kind of similar, but I think it is a little different. So I don't know. It looks like they're reusing a little bit of that. The smiles are very, very similar as well, but that's okay. It's good to smile. Unlike some pities over here that, you know, look all grouchy all the time. Not to say any names or anything like that. But getting on to his accessories here, we have the toolbox. Now, this logo here is not grainy whatsoever. This is the clearest thing you could possibly get. So I love that. That looks awesome. And on the back here, you have the drawers, silver line that never move. And you have the wheels that never move. And, of course, the hollow inside and if you look inside there's actually a little bit of code in there it's too dark too dark can't look in there gotta get it in person to find out so yeah pretty sweet and the tires here they did make them black a typical mistake would be to make them purple because that's the prominent color of the sponsor and mattel likes to do that they'll be like hey he's gotta be purple like he's gotta have purple rims even though the racer actually would have like black rims or something like that. They've done that plenty of times before. I think they made like the King's rims blue one time when they're silver. So yeah, stuff like that. But yeah, they actually did a good job here with Lee. Now the bad thing they did about Lee here is the color. Now Lee, at least, you know, the Chinese version is a dark purple and Mike is a much lighter purple. Now, if we have the tiling version here, which I guess, you know, this makes sense. It's not really a bad thing because they are being consistent here. Like this is the tiling version of Lee and that shade of purple does pretty much match Mike. But the Chinese version, if you're old school like me, I mean, this is the rubber tire version from like 2010. Then yeah, you're going to have some mismatched colors here. And I'm gonna bring in the other team in just a second here. And we're gonna see, we got all sorts of colors. So this is the cab that they released in early 2017 and then re-released last year. CB is the name, kind of a lame name, not gonna lie. It does kind of match Mike because it certainly doesn't match Lee. I mean, that dark purple, he just, I mean, I get in there. And he's a little two-tone with the hat, side view mirrors and the actual cab and even the mouth plate. He's got all sorts of shades of purple. And this is the factory custom crew chief from China, not official from Mattel. This is a much darker purple, still doesn't quite match Lee, but it's actually pretty nice. You know, I'll take what I can get, any customs that I can get my hands on. I am thrilled about it because Mattel's may not, I mean, they actually do, you know, intend, I think I'm making a Transberry Juice Crew Chief, but I didn't know that a couple years ago. And there's a whole bunch of other ones, you know, as you guys know, I've shown them in my videos before. I think, right, there's Fiber Fuel, Taco Mint, all that good stuff. All right, so that's pretty much it. This is our Team Transberry Juice here. We could definitely use a hauler. That'd be awesome, but I don't think Mattel intends on doing that. But, hmm, let me go through and show you guys a couple other of the wide pities that Mattel has released over the years. So here is the Tank Coat Pity, Jerry Drive Chain, released in 2009. I love this guy. One of my all-time favorites. I just love the pink. And I also like that they haven't re-released him because it keeps him elusive, even though he's not even that expensive on eBay if you were to look. Here is the Trunk Fresh Pity again, unnamed for no reason. No apparent reason. Mattel just likes to leave some pities in the box and the timeout box and nameless. Just the number. And here's the canceled Easy Idol Pity. That was supposed to come with the hauler and the racer in one of those Target exclusive sets. So I'm very fortunate to have gotten my hands on this one. He's really, really cool. 
But yeah, quite the grouchy expression, not gonna lie. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm gonna bring in the whole pack right here of our Thailand pities that have really just enlightened us with these members here of the Piston Cup. We're very grateful to have them. Oh yeah, looking good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, the support has been awesome. You know, you guys are just great. I've been inconsistent uploading and yet you're still supporting me. So I really do appreciate that. It means a lot. I will definitely get the review of Metallic Sally or Bury the Pedal out as soon as possible. I just, you know, work a lot, you know, and I am enjoying my summer with friends before I have to head off to college in August. If you didn't hear, going to the University of Notre Dame. So that'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, a lot of things are going to be changing here on the Disney Docket channel. But it's all right. New chapter, you know, always progressing, always changing, but never ending. You know, it's going to be, you know, a long haul on my channel. Don't worry about anything ending. I know a lot of people are saying, like, I'm going to stop making videos. No, nope, not at all. Don't worry. I can always upload a video from my phone or my laptop or something like that. So It'll be good. I just, you know, won't always have access to my collection. But don't worry, I will make do. And I will see you guys later for me and the boys here just trying to change some tires. I'll see you guys soon. Bye now. <laughs>